India has declared war on Western pharmaceutical companies that claim the indigenous traditional medicines belongs to the people of India who have been using the traditional treatment for thousands of years. It has become the world's first developing country to license more than 200,000 traditional treatment as public property. Yoga, well known around the world, has its origins in India. Along with Ayurveda, it is one element in the ancient system of healthcare that has been practiced for more than 2,000 years. The Indian government recently catalogued the more than 1,500 yoga poses as part of the database of traditional knowledge in an attempt to fend off entrepreneurs trying to patent the country's ancient practices. At the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research Complex in Ghaziabad, near Delhi, 150 doctors have spent eight years translating 30 million pages of ancient medical books. The database, called the Traditional Knowledge Digital Library, makes information available to patent offices around the world to ensure that traditional remedies are not presented as new discoveries. We have so far done 130 books in Ayurved, Yunani and Siddha. We plan to do 270 books more relating to Ayurved, Yunani, Siddha and Yoga. We, have also tar we are also targeting around half a million traditional medical manuscripts which are written in ancient language which many people even in India cannot understand. The Indian government has successfully challenged patents on the use of turmeric to heal wounds and rashes, as well as one for the rice strain derived from India's fan basmati rice. That, however, is a tiny fraction of the problem. A 2003 study by India's National Institute for Science, Communication and Information Resources estimates that some 7,000 patents worldwide are based on indigenous Indian knowledge far too many for the Indian government to challenge in expensive legal fights. In 90, 2000 alone, year 2000, there were more than 5000 patents granted on medicinal plant. And 80% of them were on the plants of Indian, six plants of Indian origin. And when we did a sample study of around 700 patents, we found that 50% should have never been granted. It is difficult for overseas patent offices researchers to prove that purported innovations are really based on traditional remedies because, while the information is widely published in India, it is often in ancient languages like Sanskrit or modern regional languages like Tamil. The team of 150 experts has just made its target of translating 200,000 traditional treatments into English, German, French, Spanish and Japanese. The database is searchable by keywords or phrases. You can't keep on challenging everything. So I went to the U.S. Patent Office, spent a full day. They were extremely fair, by the way. They took me to their database and showed that to me. And said, look, uh, when such a patent gets applied for, we put turmeric, wundling, powder, and see what comes on the screen. Nothing comes on the screen. Because it's either in your head up here, or it is buried in some textbook to which we have no access. That is where I got the idea of creating a traditional knowledge digital library where all this knowledge uh, will be actually put in in, in, a, in a form that can be understood by the patent uh, sort of examiners. Dr. Marsha Kart hopes that the database will eventually lead to better collaboration among scientists regarding new discoveries. India is not alone in worrying about bioprospectors. Those who profit from the genetic resources of plant life with no benefit to its people. Several years ago, it joined China, Brazil and nine other nations to begin pushing for international protection. The digital library has already been made available to the European patent offices as well as 34 European countries. TITV Weekly.